welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got a real fun one today. We're gonna go over how to use tremolo picking in metal. Real quick, let's go over how to tremolo pick. Uh, there's a couple different ways that I've learned how to do it. Don't ever let anyone tell you there's only one right way. If it's comfortable, doesn't hurt, and uh, sounds good, that's what matters. Uh, the way that I personally do it is to rest the heel of my hand on the bridge of the guitar and then let my wrist do the work for the tremolo picking. Or you could put your pinky and your ring finger on the guitar to anchor yourself there, let your hand float above the strings, and then use your elbow to get the tremolo motion. Either method is fine, it's all personal preference, but regardless of which way you choose, you wanna make sure that you are not tense while you're playing. Don't squeeze the pick, don't contract the muscles in your hand and your forearm or anything like that. By staying relaxed, you'll get the nice fluid motion and that'll allow you to stay good and in time. And you most certainly wanna remain conscious of your downstrokes while you're trim picking. This is not just balls to the wall as fast as you can go, uh, get as many notes crammed in there as possible. Uh, I kind of think of it as 30 second notes whenever I'm playing depending on the tempo, but by making sure that I know where my downstrokes are as I'm changing, uh, the transition is a lot smoother in between notes. All right, anyway, so let's look at how to use this technique for metal. So the first example, and what would be the most obvious to any metal head, would be to harmonize with the rhythm guitar. Um, this example that I'm about to show you, we will harmonize on thirds, fourths, fifths, and then a perfect octave. Also, if you want to play along, I'm in drop C for all these riffs, key of C minor. <laughs> That sounded pretty good, uh, but for some extreme dissonance, how about we bend the strings while we're tremolo picking? Uh, here's the next example. <laughs> So you can see that by bending at different speeds, you can kind of create some extra texture to the sound and get a whole bunch of little incremental notes along the way that are not quite in tune, but since they're always changing, it still doesn't sound terrible to the ear. Another trick to enhance the tremolo picking is to use a hammer on and a pull off motion with your left hand while still continuing the tremolo pick motion with your right hand. This is a really good way to accent changes and chord progression behind you. <laughs> effect that I use quite a bit when I'm trim picking is delay. And now this can be done wrong very, very easily. So make sure that your trim picking technique is up to speed. The delay blurs the transitions between notes in a really harmonic way where you get some intervals for just brief moments of time that sound very pleasing to the ear and then they're gone and it just is a layer of sound you can't get any other way. So yeah, on this example, listen for those brief moments of harmony. <laughs> All right, so for the cherry on top, now let's add a wah pedal. By combining wah and delay, you're gonna get a combination of tones between the highs and the lows that's carried through the harmonies of those brief moments with the delay pedal. It's a really, really cool sound. Uh, the, the texture is just amazing and it tends to evoke a pretty emotional response. <laughs> All right, well now that you know a few ways to use that tremolo technique, it's time for you to get to practice. Quit watching YouTube and pick up that guitar. I'll see you next time.